for you ahead of Mashuja uh, Day celebrations. Who's your hero? Who's your Shuja? Whatever answer you have, feel free to share it with me. But more importantly, share it with that person if they're still living. Now, the government, through the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development, has sent a stern warning to individuals and entities who have encroached on public land to vacate immediately or face forceful eviction. Lands Cabinet Secretary Alice Wahome warned that the government will be keen to bring to book lands fraudsters or masqueraders or people masquerading to be landowners across the country upon investigations by relevant agencies. And as Mike Kagwongo reports, Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musioka, who has been adversely mentioned uh, by a section of UDA legislators as allegedly the bene biggest beneficiary of the sale and uh, distribution of the Athi River Portland land has filed a case to halt the ongoing de uh, demolitions. Let's take a look at this story by Mike Kagwongo. Barely two weeks in office, land CS Ali Sohome has come out guns blazing to illegal occupants of public lands across the country. Speaking in Nairobi Thursday, Wahome said the digitization and registration process is now complete for easy land verification. The exercise was successful in laying down the infrastructure for digitization and automation of services. The CS put land cartels on notice regarding steps the ministry is taking to destroy them. Wahome highlighted that atrocities conducted against victims of East African Portland Cement Company land eviction were unfortunate and should now serve as a warning to Kenyans falling for scams by land brokers and cartels. By claiming that land's ministry does not enforce demolitions, land principal secretary Nixon Correr separated the ministry from blowback from the recent wave of demolitions that had infuriated Kenyans. Portland management had however highlighted that the government executed the process with their approval. We ourselves from East Africa and Portland and the government effected the eviction. We don't enforce uh, demolition or, uh, or, or other enforcement in, re in relation to uh, access to land. That is the function of uh, the owner of the land, of course, in conjunction with the security operators. Wahome affirms that the ministry has confirmed and verified that the over 4,000 acre piece of property in Adi River belongs to East African Portland Cement Company at the same time distancing her ministry from the controversial evictions. The ministry also ruled out compensation to affected individuals, arguing that the land company that dealt unsuspecting buyers should be held culpable. Therefore, once you produce the people who did the selling, then those people should be made to compensate the persons who have been evicted. With the backdrop of the East African land demolitions and Kibuya land grabbing saga in Kisumu, CS Wahome says more crackdowns are yet to unfold. Any person on public land must start preparing to vacate with immediate effect or as soon as possible because we are coming to recover public land. And uh, we are going to support the ESCC, we are going to support the DCI to ensure that we provide relevant historical information in regards to various land. Meanwhile, Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Musioka, who has been adversely mentioned by a section of UDA legislators as allegedly the biggest beneficiary of the sale and buying of other river Portland land, has filed a case to halt the ongoing demolitions. Now, with rampant cases of land grabbing and increasing land fraudsters across the country, Kenyans will be keen to understand immediate actions taken by CS Alice Wahome in her new docket as CS for Lands, starting with Mavoko Land Tassel. Mike Kagwongo, TV47, Nairobi.